Welcome back. She was a sewing artist who uses her skills to help grieving families cope. A Cottage Grove woman with a talent that has allowed many families to offer a beautiful goodbye to their loved ones. She led our Jamie Perez into her workspace to share how she has helped dozens of families deal with loss through a needle and thread. So this is the beginning. There's something beautiful about life and death. Life through the sun split trees, it propels us. But death and what comes after is what propels Annie Shep. See how they're forming? I'll never get to see my daughter go to prom, her wedding. Well, I can make that happen in a sense. Annie makes it so death isn't the end. I look at a gown and I think of what I can use from it. She makes what are called angel gowns. I use the strangest tools. Depends on how big of a pleat I want. I go like that, down, so. For those who have lost. And there were some that were miscarriages um, or babies born and stillbirth. Made from donated wedding gowns. Wedding gowns donated to me almost immediately. Turned into burial outfits for those whose life ended too soon. This is what I do. But this is a product of her own loss. Pamela uh, wanted me to sew, so that's what I'm doing. Pam is Annie's daughter. Her time went too soon. Pam died of a sudden brain aneurysm on July 15, 2011. Seven years for me and some days it feels just like yesterday. This is how she's able to cope so many years later. This is her wedding dress. This is Pamela. But she had a beautiful smile. With more than 100 gowns made to this date, every stitch and sew, this is Annie's new love to honor Pam's memory. I'm thinking of my daughter. It could be a miscarriage, stillbirth, sudden infant death syndrome. That's what led Betty to Annie. I can't thank them enough for the gift that they had shared with us. It truly meant everything, and um, it was one of the most difficult things that we've ever experienced. And um, they just made it um, that much better knowing that we weren't alone. Betty's granddaughter, Victoria, died of SIDS two years ago. She was buried in this gown. Today is the two-year anniversary of her death. It meant everything because... I'm sorry. Because she is an angel now. And the gown was absolutely beautiful. And knowing that maybe when she crossed over, maybe her daughter recognized her gown and she'll hold my my baby for me now. A thought that propels Annie back to this. I just come down here to reflect. I feel this is my happy spot, even though it's also my grieving spot. To be an angel forever starts with love. Start pulling the pearls off of there. With fabric and a sewing needle. And ends with something beautiful. This is the outside. In Cottage Grove, Jamie Perez, WISC. News 3. If you would like to know more about Annie's free public service, you can contact her on her Facebook page. Just search Pamela's Wish from Heaven.